Word defibrillator for today where we kickstart your day with a word from within the word. I started reading this and this is quite exciting. Anyone who confesses, maybe I should tell you where it's from. Eh? It's 1 John 4, starting off at verse 15. We just backtrack until we get to the main one. Anyone who confesses, acknowledges, owns that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides, lives, makes his home in him, and he abides, lives, and makes his home in God. Wow. Anyone who confesses, acknowledges, owns that Jesus is the Son of God, God abides, lives, makes his home in him, and he abides, lives, and makes his home in God. How amazing is that? And we know, understand, recognize, are conscious of, by observation and by experience, and believe, adhere to, and put faith in, and rely on the love God cherishes for us. God is love, and he who dwells and, continue, and continues in love dwells, continues in God, and God dwells and continues in him. This is going really, 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 really deep. It's saying that if you abide in God, God will abide in you. Now, God is love. Now, if you abide in love, now love is patient, love is kind, love is not self-seeking, love holds no records or wrongs, it always looks for the good in others, and it tells the truth. If we abide in that, because God is that, and if we abide in that, God is with us and continually dwells in us. In this union and communion with him, love is brought to completion and attains perfection with us, that we may have confidence for the day of judgment with assurance and boldness to face him, because as he is, so are we in this world. I think this, when it finally hits home in my life, is going to be one of the most powerful scriptures that I've actually encountered for a long time. I just want to thank the Holy Spirit for this one. There is, now verse 18, this will be the verse for today. There is no fear in love. How's it? Don't worry. If you're abiding in God, he'll abide in you. If you abide in love because God is love, he will abide in you. And then you have this union and communion with him. And when the day of judgment comes, it's okay, chillax. You understand that uh, because he is, so are we in this world. So we are okay for the day of judgment because we have confessed the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God. There is no fear in this. You don't have to worry about anything. There is no fear in what? In love. Dread does not exist, but full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror, for fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, is not yet grown into love's complete perfection. We love him because he first loved us. Verse 19. Lord, I pray in Jesus' name that we get a full revelation of this understanding of how love just expels, turns fear out of doors, removes every trace of terror. I pray that we reach the full maturity of love. And Father, if we have fear in any way, concern in any way, if we dread anything, especially the day of judgment, Father, this love will cast that all away. And that day is no more trace of it. Father, that we check our hearts at this moment in time. Whatever the future may bring, in love, we will not fear it. We will not dread it. Father, how do we? We 
with you as our Father, and Jesus as our Lord and our Savior. Father, I pray at this moment in time for each and every one of us that we have a fresh revelation of who the Lord Jesus Christ is as our Savior, as our Redeemer, as our friend. Amen.